guys welcome back to my channel today's video is one of the most requested videos i have done in a really long time and since we're in a standstill with the flip home which by the way if you are not subscribed to the channel we are flipping this beautiful old house and it's gonna be amazing but we're waiting for some permits to get passed right now before we can actually start with anything so because of that, it's the perfect time to film a video like this. So I'm gonna be showing you how I was able to DIY this canvas, which is a dupe for the William Sonoma one. That's like $1,200. I did this one for like 60. And then I have one in my entryway that looks like this that I was able to do for like literally like $50, which for canvases this large is such a good deal. You could even do it cheaper if you wanted to. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I did it so you can go replicate it for your own space. So basically, when I first moved into my apartment, I was spending a shit ton of money. Of course, probably like you are too, or if you're moving into a home, you just know how expensive it is. And I had a lot of walls that needed artwork. And what I realized quickly was that artwork was even more expensive than some of the other pieces of furniture. So I had to get creative on how I wanted to get the look without spending the money for that look. So I was going on Pinterest and I was finding artworks like this and like this that I was just in love with. I love how it's neutral, which is my drive. I love that it's textured. And I was looking at these with like five grand price tags and I was like, I can definitely do that. And I have now done two canvases and I really figured it out. So there's a few things that you need to specifically look for when putting these canvases together i fully made like i bought the canvas and then i made the frame for it do not recommend doing that i have a way easier way to do that so i'm going to i took like little clips somewhere you buy the stuff so i'm going to insert these right now and then we'll actually diy the canvas together so go to a tj maxx i'm hoping that i find one i'm at tj maxx right now and we are trying to find a canvas that has the thin frame around it already built out and that we can paint over. So it doesn't even matter what the canvas looks like at all as long as it has the thin frame around it and it's the right size that you want, we're buying it. If TJ Maxx doesn't have it, I'm going to go to Target because Target's where I actually bought the one in my um, entryway. And so that's the first step. That will just save you so much time and money honestly and it will just look a lot better than if you bought just a regular canvas and built a frame around it like i did in my living room the one in my entryway looks just a whole lot better so i'm going to show you how to do that one all right so i actually ended up getting this one just because honestly it was cheaper and i don't have anywhere to put it so i'm really just making it for this video and then i'm going to give it to my friend but if you are looking for a larger one, like this one is huge. This one's 36 by like 42 inches. The other one in my entryway is just as large. You could just get one of those other canvases. I'm kind of sad about this one because I actually like the way that it looks. But for the sake of the video, we're going to paint over it and make it look more what we want. But the one in my entryway used to look like this. So you can get any type of canvas that you want and make it look similar to this but there's a few things that you need to look for first you want to make sure that it has the frame on it so like here you can see i should just come up closer okay here you can see how it has like the actual frame on it and then the canvas you need to make sure that it has this otherwise it will not look as good i'm telling you the more it will look way more expensive if it has that frame and you can paint, like paint it whatever you want. I'm going to make it gold. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, but that is where I got the canvas. I already said this, but this one's from TJ Maxx. And then the one I got in my entryway is from Target. This actual canvas that I bought is from Michaels. So I just bought like a plain blank one and then I painted that on there. But that is a little info on what type of frame you should get. All right, now it's time to actually make the canvas. So on my Instagram store, I asked which one they wanted me to replicate more. So this one won the one in my entryway. So that's what I got supplies for. But honestly, it's like the exact same process, basically, minus that you're not gonna wanna do as much texture and then paint the little doodad on top of it. 
So first we have tape. We're gonna use the tape to tape off the actual like frame of the canvas. And then um, you need some white gesso. So the white gesso is what's gonna give us the texture to this piece of artwork. And um, that's like crucial. So this is just from Michaels. You can also um, buy it at like Joanne Fabric, Hobby Lobby, really any craft store. I buy it in white, they sell it in clear, but you want to add this texture. This is another thing with the expensive canvases. They all have a ton of texture, especially for this one that we're replicating. It's like all texture, and that is going to give us its look. I have some bristle brushes. These are hog bristle brushes, and this is going to also give it that texture, so we don't want it to be super smooth. Like the rougher it is, the better it is. So I got just some rough looking brushes. They were like $20, so they were cheap. And then I have this Artist Loft Titanium White. So we're going with white white um, for this exact canvas. And then I'm going to use some gold rub and buff, which is in my closet, I forgot to get. But um, we're gonna, I want the actual frame to be gold and then this to be white. So this Titanium White is just by Artist Loft. It's like the cheapest acrylic paint that Michaels has. So I'm gonna use that to paint this. And then we'll use, use the gold um, rub and buff to get the gold look on the frame. So I am going to go and tape off all of the edges. Okay, step two is taking that white gesso and we're going to start making this pattern. So this is actually like stupid easy to do and the more unperfect it looks the better it looks in my opinion i'm just gonna start going so for the pattern of the one i did in my entryway which i'm trying to replicate from which i did replicate from this piece of artwork i am doing those lines that go to about actually i should really actually go look at it hold on All right, I should have uh, looked at it before doing this because I kind of already messed it up, but we're just gonna keep going along with it and see what we can create because why not? So I'm doing a line that goes from the top over here to about three inches left on this side. And then I want this to be like decently thick because I love like that texture. And we might even do, need to do a few coats of this because I really want to build that up. And then I'm gonna come about three inches down from that one and go like that. Yeah, we're totally gonna have to do a few coats of this because this is just not getting the texture build up that I want. And then I'm just gonna keep repeating until I get all the way to the side. And I love getting like the ridges on the side or like on the end of it. So like this one has a really good one. project ever this is like stupid easy canvas um but i've let the white gesso gesso whatever it is i'm sure someone will let me know exactly how it's pronounced but um it's fully dry so like fully fully dry usually it will just take like overnight situation and then i'm going to just take some of this titanium white and cover it this is like not rocket science obviously and right now you can see how like there's some, just you can see through, I don't even know if in this camera will pick it up, but that will cover it up. It'll make it look just like fully done. I'm gonna let this dry until like lunchtime. Then I'm gonna take the tape off of the sides. We'll go rub and buff the frame. Um, like, you know, that is the frame, yeah. And we're done with the project. So super easy and it looks so good.
love this part. This part makes such a big difference. And I am just going to tape the sides of it off. I will say I'm wondering if this tape is screwing me up because last time I used just like blue painter's tape and it worked so well and this time I'm having some problems with the edges. Like I just tried to take a knife to the sides of it to clean it up and it was a total fail. So hopefully this doesn't give gold because like, what I'm trying to do is tape off the actual canvas so then this the gold rub and buff doesn't like get on the sides of it. If it does, we'll just touch it up with white paint, but still, that's just like an unnecessary step that we shouldn't have to do. So, I'll let you know if this tape sucks, but if you're buying tape for this anyways, just go get um, like the Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. color is the gold leaf one I get one of those like 60 cent foam brushes and you just go to town on it a little bit of this goes a long way like this whole tube is lasting me like five projects which is insane because it's so little so I'm this is going to take a few coats um, what is so nice about gold rub and buff or rub and buff in general um, is that it dries in like five seconds so not actually five seconds but it dries dries super super quick so i am just going to layer this on and make it look like a gold beautiful canvas dry a little bit give it a few more coats however many coats it needs for yours to cover take that tape off do any touch-ups that you need to do with the white paint but then you should be fully good to go to get a canvas that obviously looks like that one we did or this one in my apartment it's so easy really fun and honestly relaxing it was just an enjoyable project for t for you oh my god what happened for you to get a canvas that looks like this it's extremely similar steps. So go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target, wherever. Get a canvas the size that you want it, just like that. Then you're gonna take some of that gesso, gesso, whatever, this thing right here that you can get at any craft store, really. And you are going to put it all over the canvas, but do it not so. You just want to add textures, like some places. You definitely. Do you want to add this part that's what's going to make your canvas look a lot more expensive so you can see how on this canvas i just went through and i added some different lines different places we don't want paintbrush lines like the other one we did we want it to be smoother um so i use like tool just like this i know they sell these at michael's as well it's in the paint section just like the other ones and that will give it that texture then you just go and paint the white on top of that then i went in with a pencil and I sketched out the shape that I wanted to. I was trying to replicate the one on William Sonoma. It is obviously not perfect. It kind of looks like a man's, you know, area if you look at it too closely. But that is how I did that. And it doesn't need to be perfect. None of this needs to be perfect. It's just, it actually looks better if it's not perfect, I would say. Um, and then once that's dry, tape the canvas off. Do the gold rub and buff on the sides if you want it to look like that and you're done it's so easy and they're just like i said fun projects so that is how i create the canvases in my apartment i hope that was fun i know it was an overview into them but really they're so easy and i know you're going to love it in your own home it's a cheap way cheaper way to get that extensive look in your apartment or your home and let me know if you try it out tag me on instagram 
at by Sophia Lee. I also post a ton of decorating videos or like decorating tips, cleaning hacks, organization tips over there. It's really just the behind the scenes look into how we do everything. We're buying or we bought, why do I always say we're buying? We bought that flip palm. And so we're going to be transforming that entire thing. We have so many fun videos with that. So you can check that out. And I just hope that you like this. <laughs> where am I going with this? I don't even know where I'm going with this. All right, I need to cut it off. But hopefully that was helpful and I can't wait to see you at the next video.